Hello students, another important topic uh, regarding or uh, related with editorial letter I will discuss right now and uh, it is related with the poor maintenance of monuments. Another very very important uh, relevant topic it is. So let us come to the question part. You are Ashutosh or Ashita Sarin residing at 28 age block Ashok Nagar or Ashok Vihar, Delhi. You love Delhi and its beautiful architecture. Recently you visited the Red Fort and were disturbed to see the poor maintenance of the monument by the authorities concerned as well as by the careless and negligent attitude of the visitors who spoil the buildings by writing names, messages on the walls, domes, etc. Write a letter to the editor, the statesman, and expressing concern over this state and the need for awakening a sense of pride and love for such monuments among the common people. It's a very uh, pathetic sight, dear students, because uh, this has been uh, told in the um, media also many times and this was been shown in the television also that we should actually, uh, we are careless regarding uh, restoring the old uh, ancient heritage, uh, heritage sites or heritage, heritage buildings. Uh, it is very unfortunate that uh, in our country only this is more prevalent than in any other countries are, are, are around the world because in western countries uh, these things are severely condemned but in our country uh, we don't uh, we are reckless number one and we are totally careless uh, when uh, it's it is related with ancient heritage sites and all this because ultimately what uh, exactly we are exposing we are exposing our ignorance uh, towards the other people from the other corners of the world towards the western people we are uh, exposing our ignorance and we uh, are very much negligent we spoil the buildings by writing names messaging on the walls domes etc we don't care about the to preserve the ancient heritage sites and others so uh, what we should do and uh, what should be our future motive or mission this letter is all about that that means uh, in in this letter you will expose the uh, grievances your your own grievance against this type of people who are totally careless in protecting the ancient architectural uh, sculptures or buildings domes etc and what remedy can be implemented so let me start uh, left hand side once again 28 h block ashok vihar delhi uh, 12th june then a year the editor the statesman new delhi because uh, statesman uh, the name of the newspaper already is there in the question so from the question you will get information regarding that and sometimes related with uh, the landmark address also you will get from the question only because 28 h block ashok vihar it is there in the question only so subject now poor maintenance of monuments sir through the columns of your esteemed newspaper i would like to assert the fact that we indians particularly delights do not value our heritage we carelessly spoil our treasures it can be seen in the attitude of our people toward the historical monuments and Delhi is filled up with architectural brilliance, domes, monuments, everything. But uh, it seems that the Delhi people are more careless in respect to uh, other community people uh, from India and it has been specified here in this letter also. Delhi is rich in monuments. In Europe, such a legacy would be preserved and beautified. I already told you in the Western civilization or in the Western culture, in the Western countries rather, uh, this type of activities are severely condemned. But in India, this type of activities are going on day in and day out. In Europe, such a legacy would be preserved. Legacy means those ancient heritage sites, buildings, monuments, domes and other things. Uh, in Europe, such a legacy would be preserved and beautified. But here, here means in our country, it is spoiled and ruined by our own people uh, through sheer ignorance. I already told you about it, that we are ignorant about it. Carelessness, laziness and disregard. So, four very powerful things being told. Number one, sheer ignorance. We are totally ignorant. Let it be what it be. Then we are careless. We are totally lazy. And we don't regard our monuments as something to be preserved. 
we are very much reckless we disregard all our monuments uh, in case you happen to visit the red fort you will find not history but romantic messages now if you go and if you visit the red fort you will find the romantic messages been written by the couples here and there on the walls this is a very unfortunate thing because the historical monuments are to be preserved nothing romantic things or messages should be written on all these things but unfortunately it is going on in our country more often uh, one more paragraph to end it there should be a social message on your part and obviously uh, a remedial measure that you consider is very important to be highlighted we must be proud of our city and its heritage then only we will be motivated to preserve its beauty and elegance elegance art artistic beauty all this i appeal to fellow citizens to open their eyes and fall in love with the beauty of our city and help in its proper maintenance so what should be done we should preserve its beauty and its elegance and uh, it's an appeal from your perspective to all the fellow citizens through the editorial columns of the statesman uh, that we should uh, open our eyes or we should be more concerned we should be uh, much more uh, conscious about this about this and we should fall in love with our ancient architectural brilliance not to destroy it but to preserve it and we should all um, work uh, in combo or rather to say we should all work together for its proper maintenance then obviously again by leaving a line you can leave a line then again in the left hand side you will write yours faithfully uh, followed by the name mentioned in the question paper or your own name at the end so that was the uh, topic related with uh, disregard uh, for architectural monuments and domes and all these things now i am moving on to another important question that is related with uh, those plastic polythene bags that litter around in the roads in the streets so this is also a very socially relevant topic so uh, just like the previous one so i'm just going through the question once then i'll move on to the answer part now it is actually related with the nuisance of polythene litter bags or plastic bags so uh, the question is like this you have noticed many polythene bags full of litter lying along the road early in the morning now we have all seen it and uh, it seems that uh, we have already uh, we are the topper in case of polluting our environment we indians we are the topper in that so we all know this that uh, our roads are dirty it's littered with garbages particularly polythene or plastic bags are more common in sight though there is a ban on that but still we use it now this is unthinkable this actually shows not only our ignorance but also it seems that we are living along dangerously our lives we are not caring about the environment at all and we are not concerned about the safety of our own selves also neither the safety of our neighbors also because polythene or plastic bags are very very harmful now uh, let's continue you have noticed many polythene or plastic bags full of litter lying along the road early in the morning these litter bags cause pollution you have already written to the concerned authorities but no action has been taken so far but uh, unfortunately uh, despite you have written but no action has been taken so far write a letter to the editor of a leading newspaper expressing your views on the nuisance caused by plastic bags uh, full of litter now obviously you want to write now a letter to the editor regarding that sign yourself as parul or prem saxena of b22 lajpat nagar new delhi that is the landmark address now how we will start from the left hand side uh, the format goes as you all know by this time b22 lajpat nagar new delhi then 25th may then the year should be mentioned followed by the editor then the times of india then followed by uh, the common address that i am i have given previously also bahadur shah zafar mark and then it is followed by new delhi then obviously there is a subject uh, nuisance of polythene litter bags now the problems created by the polythene litter bags or the plastics bags so how to start dear sir 
through the columns of your esteemed newspaper, I wish to draw the attention of the government authorities to the nuisance caused by numerous plastic or polythene litter bags or those bags that litter around in the roads. Litter means to spread all over. Lying alongside the road early in the morning, it is not only an obnoxious sight but also a menace and health hazard as well. It is not only something to be very ugly, obnoxious means something to be very ugly, but it causes a lot of menace and health hazards also. In order to keep their houses neat and clean, people throw litter bags anywhere. Thus they endanger the environment by causing pollution. So actually that is the reason they endanger uh, the environment by causing pollution but it seems that the people are totally ignorant of this. Stray cattle poke into these polythene bags and scatter the filthy contents all around and it is dangerous for the cattle also if they consume it. Uh, and dear students I guess you know about it, it is dangerous for the cattle also if they consume it. Uh, they can die because of choking or suffocation. There is a possibility of that one also. And if the plastics are thrown on the agricultural field, then it is very, uh, then also it causes a lot of problem. Uh, and it is non-biodegradable waste. So it can't be destroyed also. So stray cattle poke into these polythene bags and scatter the filthy. Filthy means the dirty contents all around. Thus our colony virtually become a storehouse of garbage emitting foul smell and breeding flies, bacteria and other germs. Thus, thus the colony or the locality becomes a breeding ground for bacteria, germs, flies and all this. I have written to the concerned authorities earlier also, but no action has been taken so far. Previously, no initiative was taken, but initiative was taken from my point of view because previously I have written on this. That is what this statement is all about. I sincerely hope that my appeal will arouse the indolent officers from their slumber. Indolent means super lazy. That is the meaning of super drowsy, indolent, from their slumber and make them respond to the call of duty. Now I hope these the lazy officers will actually be awakened by this time, by my letter, and they will definitely respond to the call of their duty. Then finally, on the left hand side, yours faithfully, then it is Parul Saxena or the name that has been highlighted in the question paper. So regarding polythene bags, this uh, particular topic I discussed and the previous topic that is related with maintenance of monuments also, that topic also been discussed by me. Dear students, please go by this uh, audio and if there is any doubt, please let me know about it. Thank you students. Thank you all.